Good afternoon, fish and friends. Welcome to another episode. Welcome to kind of a chilly episode here. It's only 45 degrees, but I'm doing something a little bit different today. Only bringing the little ultralight rig. You can see their little spinner on there. Gonna be searching for some trout today. I'm keeping it simple, not taking a bunch of stuff. The rod, of course, the old fanny pack. I'm gonna see if we can find any of them here. It's a little lake here, supposed to have some good panfish. There's also supposed to be some trout in here. So we're gonna see if we can find any of those. I've only got maybe two hours before the sun goes down. So we're gonna see if we can find any. Enough yapping for me, let's get on them. All right, so the adventure begins. Can we find any trout or crappie or anything that'll eat this lure? Never fished for trout in a lake, so I'll be honest, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, this sucks. Oh yeah, stock trout are easy to catch. Throw on anything, they'll eat it. Even had a bite. Huh, well. Oh, there we go. All right, first one of the day. There we go, it is a little trout. Nice. Heck yeah, throw in the spinner, buy some wood. Look at that guy. All right, first one of the day for me. Let's go. Look at that, we found one. Look at that perfect little hook set there. Whoa, come on now. Give me the squirts and such. Let's get the hook out of this guy. Man, they are so slippery. Stop, little guy. Stop. Oh, they're so slimy. Hey, one. Found one, yeah. Yeah, I just got here, yep. How's the bite been going? All right, there we go. First little guy. Get him back. There we go. You, any luck? I just was over there by the boat ramp for a second. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not, I mean, you're more than welcome to fish down here with me. I'm not keeping them or anything, so. Oh, aren't you? No, nope, just fishing for fun. Sure. Yeah, I'll come on down. Well, hopefully that one came from under that tree, so. Yeah, I'll get over here. Toss over that way, see if you can find any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the whole trout thing's new, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, I retired out of here sixteen years ago. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'm gonna mosey on down the way, see if I can find some. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, I feel like MacGyver going down this small fish. I see stuff over there. Oh man, did you see that one? Oh, good night. Man, on this little tiny ultralight rig, that thing felt like a moose. Come back for it, fish. Darn. All right, four pound braid, ultralight rig. Not gonna lie, this is pretty fun. Oh, right there. Right there we go. Oh, man, he's running. There we go, second trout of the day. All right, there are trout in here. Yes, sir. All right. Not as big as the first one, but I still appreciate you coming onto the show, buddy. There we go. All right. Number two on the day. This guy's quite a bit smaller than the first one, but back he goes. Later, fish. Oh, more action over here. Let's see what we got. Oh, there we go. Hit it twice. Nice. Heck yes, the old rooster tail. Look at him, man, these things are feisty. All right, there we go. Eh, about the same size. Crazy little dude, four pound line, four pound braid to four pound mono leader. Whoa, 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 stop fish. I'll take a full day of these dudes. There we go. Number three on the day, that's probably the best looking one. Look at him. Good looking size, I don't know, probably nine, 10, 11 inches, I'd say. Off he goes, another one. Go oh, that way. Little inline spinners. The old rooster tails reminded me of fishing back in the day as a kid. These things were the, oh, you see that? Right by my line. They're all over over here. Bunch of them. Come on, come back fish. Anyway, it reminds me of, uh, of fishing as a kid. Pretty darn fun. I was excited when I found some of these on sale. Get her. Oh, there's another one. 
that's a pretty good size look at that whoa getting airborne all right i don't know about you all but for two hours after work this is pretty darn fun gosh these things are hopped up on mountain dew and such stop fish all right there we go another one to add to the list look at that perfect little hook sets all right there we go another one on the day not big just a little dude but still darn fun go yes love it just to give you a look at what i'm using that is a little 1 16th ounce rooster tail got those on sale at the old gander deal a little chartreuse rooster tail give a little flash a little bit of hair on the back so far that's doing the deal for us man they're feisty too like i said four pound line on this little ultralight rod doing some work got a bunch of dark clouds rolling in only got a couple hours to fish tonight these short days stink no stuck on somebody's dang line oh hey we got it it's stuck on my back though oh there we go all right man this is what it's about you don't need anything crazy exp oh that's the first one i've lost that was a good one too darn I was just gonna say, you don't need a bunch of crazy expensive stuff. This is that little Abu Garcia Vigilante rod, spinning rod that I got from Walmart for like 30 bucks. Reel is just a little dial. I think it's the RG, I think is what it's called. I'll look here in just a second. Yeah, RG 2000, so I just have a little 2000 size on here. Some four pound nano, nano fill or something like that. Put a little four pound monofilament leader on there. You know, so much these days we get crammed down our face that you need to catch big fish. You know, it's all about big fish. And don't get me wrong, everybody loves catching big fish, but it just doesn't happen all the time like that. So honestly, I'm thankful for all the days that I can come out here and do this on the water because it's not guaranteed that you'll always be able to do that. I haven't had any other fish here. Two bites and missed them. All right, time to make a move. See, there's something right there eating. What the heck? Aren't they eating my spinner anymore? Oh, there we go. Yeah, better one. There we go. Finally, on a drought through, that might be the best one of the day. There we go. Get in here. Oh, he's digging. Dang, that one is feisty. Light line, light rod. I don't care what you say. That's fun. That is fun. Oh, he got off. Oof, right at the shore. There we go. Another one. Gosh, look at how wriggly they are. Stop. Man, they're just like little snakes. All right, there we go. Quite a, quite a lull there, but that's another one. All right, here we go, fish. Oh, it's supposed to be a majestic release. There we go. Off he goes. That one knocked slack on my line and tried to take my lunch money, I think. See stuff jumping and spitting and popping. Guessing they're still out here eating. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Yep, hit it. Came back. Oh, man, that is fun. He's going to try to jump. Nope, 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 nope. Stay down, fish. Stay down. Another good sized one. Yes, look at that. Gosh, those fish are pretty. Another good looking one. Okay, okay. The old rooster tail coming in like the old school champ that it is. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. All right. Off he goes. Nope, you're free. Go. Who knew? Coming out with a, an inexpensive rig like this, $30 rod. I think I got that reel for, I think, $29. Oh, it's a great little reel, too. I'm really liking it for this finesse stuff. I didn't go with a little tiny 500 size. I'm not a big fan of those little, little tiny ones. So this is just a little 2000 size light line and that real flimsy rod. It's been fun. It has been fun. These things are just smacking it. These things are aggressive. It feels like a bass hitting a chatterbait. There's another one. Yes. <laughs> Feisty little dudes. Feisty, look at good. That thing is ridiculous. Stop. There we go. Another one on the day. I don't even know what we're up to. Such a pretty little fish. Go. Off he goes. It's nice because these are some of those gloves I got from the Gander Sale Huck, but they're like rubbery on the bottom, so I'm not rubbing off all their skin. It's essentially the same as you know using a you know a rubber net. It's not that clothy feel, so very slick. I like those. You know, helps the fish when I don't have a net like today. Come on, fish eat the roost tail. Oh, there it is. 
Northern. Northern. Yes. There he is. That one's a little darker colored. Oh, yeah, another one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. These fish are charged up. Absolutely beautiful colors on them. Little rainbow trout. Well, I am no trout expert, but by golly, this is fun. All right, there we go. Another one on the day. I don't know what we're up to. Go, little fish. Get back in there. A complete fun day to spend an afternoon. I honestly didn't know what to expect out here. I didn't know if I'd find any trout. I don't, I'm not a trout fisherman, but I was gonna move, then I started getting bites, missed a few. Oh, glad I didn't, just like that. Oh, dang it, he came off. Oh, Debo, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Come on, stay on, fish. Stay on. Pulling some drag on me. That one was way out there. Come on, stay on. Oh, yes. All right, there we go, another one. Gosh, they are squirmy as heck. Another beautiful little fish. The colors on them are just so pretty. They're so slippery though, too. All right, dude. There, nope, going the wrong way. There you go. This is fun. And it's this is a cool alternative to bass fishing, too. You know, when the water gets really cold like this, heck, you can come out and catch these. They're active in cold water. So, you know, December, January here in, in Iowa, the bass fishing is very, very slow. And this is cool. You can just cast it, retrieve it and still get action. And if you're somebody who likes to do the catch and cook, these are tasty little critters too. Comment below, let me know if you'd like to see me do a catch and cook with some of these. My buddy Brady, you saw him in a couple videos ago. He's actually uh, pretty talented at cooking, so I might have to enlist his help, come out with him, catch some of these, keep them, and do a little cook. That's like three or four right in this little lane here that I've had hit it. But look at, they're popping out there. Crazy, 40, they're right there, hit it again. Same spot. Got him that time. Oh, yes. Getting airborne for me. There's like a little better one too. Oh, tried to horse him. Tried to horse him on the finesse rig. Oh, Debo. Oh, there we go. Dang, that one smashed it. That's what I mean, this is fun. These fish are not huge, but on this little light tackle, gosh, that thing felt like a horse. Yo, get out of the tree. He's not even big, oh no. <laughs> and I lost another one. Oh, just, oh, oh, come on. Oh gosh, did you see that? Trout mission, my first, oh. Get the treble hook, I catch just like that. Dang, I don't know how many that is I've had come off. I might have to check the hooks. I brought a hook sharpener. No, don't need it for him. Oh my goodness. Oh, under the tree, no. Oh. Man, that dude was amped up, got me under that tree limb. Gosh, darn it. There we go. Okay, stay on fish. Not as big as that other one that jumped. That dude was good sized. Look at him running. Just aggressive, aggressive little fish. Oh my gosh, and look what it is. We're doing multi-species. Multi-species challenge here. I don't know what you're doing here, Mr. Mr. Bluegill. It's a trout episode. There we go, another. Is that another bluegill? Nope, I think that's trout. Hey, there we go, another trout. Look at them, they're just. <laughs> There we go. All right, another one to add to the tally. They're ready to go and there's no, off he goes. I'm kind of excited to come out and, and target these some more and try some different lures just to see what all they'll eat. I talked to two gentlemen. I'm not sure what they were using, but I noticed they had some, some fancy St. Croix rods and they said they had only caught one. So I, I feel pretty good that my old budget set up here is uh, catching some fish. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. 
Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, that's going to be it. That is going to be the sign out trout. There he is. Look at them. Jeez, they are just, look how feisty they are. Look at them. Look at the colors on them. Absolutely beautiful. I want to take a picture. I watch. As soon as I go to take a picture, he's going to go all crazy. There he goes. See? Took the picture, though. All right, dude. There you go. Last fish of the night. Get out of here. All right, fishing friends, that's going to do it for me for tonight. And I tell you what, that was a lot of fun. I know some people only want to see the bass fishing, and I get it. Bass fishing is my favorite, too. But with the water temperatures getting colder, it's basically 40 degrees, that bite has gone cold. The trout bite tonight was anything but cold. That was a ton of fun. And on just a little tiny light rig like this, throwing that light powered Abu Garcia vigilante rod, that little 1 16th ounce rooster tail, throwing that on the 2000 size Daiwa RG2000. That was just some four pound braid I put on that. I believe it's like nano fill or something like that. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, I put a little three or four foot mono leader on there and it seemed to do pretty well. I did miss some, but I think they were just aggressive and kind of hitting the blades and whatnot. But I don't know, comment below and let me know what you think. Do you all want to see me get out here and do some more of this? See what other kind of trout lures I got packed away in the fanny pack? Let me know. Also comment below and let me know if you want to see me do a catch and cook with some of these. And speaking of doing a catch and cook, tonight's subscribe fish and friend shout out goes to my man Real Fishing. He's supported the channel for quite a long time. I know he does a lot of catching and eating of fish, so I might have to do a catch and cook just for him. So thank you Real Fishing and thank you everybody else that watches the channel and supports. I'm completely blown away by how the channel's done. So thank you all for watching and until next time,